Hello everyone, thanks for watching. This is Sullivan Ask Game, my latest review on Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, episode 109. And now, the Falcon perishes on the battlefield. This episode is definitely the one of my favorite overall, because, you know, because of the emotion, the intensity, and the action we got in this, you know. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, you know, after the defeat of the Tyler sisters, you know, oh, Yuya, Yuya, uh, Kurosaki, Gonzaga, Sawatari, Alan, and Sayaka, you know, they're on their way, you know, they're done, way they're trying to go, go back. Alan, you know, he likes that Yuya, you know, he does entertainment dueling like his dad, but he doesn't want to, but he says he doesn't want to accept him as a comrade, you know, but Kurosaki reassures him that he is a comrade, you should feel it in your heart, like, trust inside, basically. I ain't saying, see, and they all, you know, they do that group thing when they all hook, all hook up, you know, put their hands all together, you know, kind of call back to the original Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, the top, the signs of friendship, you know, when they have the smiles on their hands, you know, that's like a call back to the original Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm saying that they're all friends, they're all comrades, and, but now they got bigger, bigger problem to deal with, you know, now, because right now, even though they defeated the high sisters, they got to deal with the obelisk force, uh, even though it was that guy, the second in command, Nomura, uh, that's what the Tyler sisters, Grace and Gloria, call him. His name is No Goros, No Norma. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him Norma, call him Nomura, you know, because the nickname, and you know, they gave him, you know. Uh, even though he asked for the Tyler sisters, he didn't send the Obelisk Force, or that was the professor's doing as a backup plan, basically, and they did lose. It was, even though it worked, even though he knew, even though they came anyway, they're a little frustrated, especially Gloria, you know, the blonde one. Um, you know, she's a little frustrated uh, that they didn't know. While Grace, you know, she's a little frustrated too, but she's more calm. They want to see the entertainment dueling that Yuya did again. They want to see how they can handle with the obelisk force. And, 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 seeing how, and, seeing, and seeing how they did well last time, you know, oh, oh it's pretty good. Because it looks like the same rule applies, you know. You know, tag dueling, you know, they share the same field, field and graveyard uh, and stuff like that. And, you know, it's definitely just saying, you know, um, at first, first, you know, you know it's the obelisk for they start up, you know, they start with their signature, the hunt, uh, the ancient gear, their hunting house, it's called an adob over here, or ancient gear hound dog, you know, I prefer, uh, I prefer a hunt, I prefer a hound dog, you know, or seeing how they do it, the, how they do things, you know, he do, he summon, they, they do fusion summon, they summon double bite hound dog right up, right, right up, right up the bat, you know, should he counters, he exceeds summon, he summons rice files and right away, and you know, at first you know, at first you know, how he, ex you know, at first you know, it looks like the obelisk force, you know, they had soon, you know, but should he already prepared in advance, you know, ranking up rise files into blaze falcon, you know, so his whole deal is ranking up, you know, seeing how well they do things, you know, and, you know, oh, you know, it's doing, you know, he didn't even does some damage, he even managed to do, as it got him down by a thousand points, you know. Uh, and he even didn't have to use an overlay unit, so he's thinking smart, you know. Then there's, then there's the next type, uh, you know, Yuya, he had had his turn yet, and already the guys are ganging up on him, you know. Uh, they do this card called Double Imitate, where they could summon two ancient, he ancient gear monsters from, 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 from a graveyard, you know. Uh, you know, seeing how they do that, they summon both hunting, uh, Hound Dog and Double... And, and, and double by hound dog. He also summons triple by hound dog. He tries to do a triple attack, tries to knock them all down at once. You know, it's very very intense. You see how it is, because, yeah, you know, it's definitely a crazy duel. Because these guys are like, these guys are not like the Tyler sisters. Like the Tyler sisters, they they're, they're watching this duel to see how you use entertainment dueling, how reach, how can it reach the obelisk force, or or it's like the way it reached them. You know, it's definitely you know something to think about. Uh, and overall, you know, uh, but sure, he's not gonna let this happen, you know, he still has Yuya's back, you know, Yuya, you know, yeah, you know, he wants to duel the way he believes in, you know, and he believes in, but Yuya, he counters back, you know, he uses an action card, Great Escape, the one he used when he dueled, first dueled Solitary during the tournament back in Standard, that was an epic duel, and I liked it overall, uh, you know, uh, then there's, the, then the situation, you know, uh, goes up, you know, he, he, he punches summon, he he managed to wipe them all out. He, he destroyed all the all three hunting hounds, uh, the hound dogs, right? Uh, easy, but he, and he does show off his entertainment dueling. You know he does his best. The Thai sisters, the the, the the one they call Grace. You know she expected a little more, saying it's over already. However, the the one of the people that criticized the most is you know, 
you know, is the obelisk for us, especially the green one who's supposed to be the, I think their leader, you know, he criticized the most, of saying that you're just too naive, like, his duty is not going to reach these guys, because these guys are not like, not like the Tyler sisters, who want to see, who are not easily entertained, these guys are fierce warriors, There's, and, and and they and they're like and they're they're chosen to be the obelisk for us for a reason. These guys are are meant to take people down with force. You know that means they're they're primed for battle. Even though the tiles that they do with all damage, they were swayed a little bit. You know because they're doing you your reach them, but these guys are different. Now that now they're putting out all the stops now. Oh, uh, not only do they summon out all their age, not they, not only do they bring back the ancient here, ancient here hunting house that were destroyed. They almost mass. Almost managed to bring back ultimate into gear here, Hound Dog, and do another fusion summon. That's another one of Hound Dog's abilities. The fusion summon with other anti gear monsters that are on the field, and they summon out anti gear chaos giant, which is a OP card, like overpowered card. Uh, even the Tyler sisters think that's a little too much. Bring, uh, they think they're gonna kill them all by bringing that thing out, cause, cause remember at the forefront of the Exceed dimension when it was in attack. And their main weapon was that was the chaos giant, and they destroyed the entire city. There were hot, there were dozens of them around. And seeing how big this is, and seeing how it is in that in that city, and then you get to see Gogan Zaka and Salatari. They never seen this monster before because they were in the un they were down underground during Dennis, during you know Dennis and Kurosaki's duel when that monster first appeared. But Saika, she freaks out, see nightmares reading really live. I mean, seeing this monster again, the monster that literally trampled upon the, her city, she freaks out and runs. She goes after her and manages to save her from the uh, from the city collapse, but he got hurt himself. And we and we saw four very little to this in the, in the in the opening, like the the kid perishes on the battlefield. You know that means that Shun is hurt. It doesn't mean he's gonna die, but it means he's gonna be probably gonna be out of action for a while. Uh, and now there's something Chaos Giant, you know, Chaos Giant, he does some damage, destroying Odd Eyes, Eyes, Silver Claw. But then out of nowhere, when things start to look, start to look very, very bad, you know, now Kai shows up and manages to save the day, you know. Uh, he uses his Cypher Monsters, you know. Uh, he even uses an action card a bit. And that means, yeah, even though Kai, he doesn't want to be friends with Yuya, Yuya and the others, he doesn't want to join them, he's not going to let Academia just do what it wants. Especially knowing that they, especially now that they summon out one of the very key key players, one of the very key monsters they played in the Exceeds in Heartland's destruction. So this is a very emotional episode because they summon for that thing, you know, um, the return of Chaos Giant. It's a very monster. It's a monster with a very touchy past, you know. And Kai, he just literally overwhelms them at all, you know, you know turning you know, using Cipher Projection, taking over Chaos Giant, even reducing. And very monsters of high power to zero to increase his own monster using his using his cipher combo strategies. He literally destroys the obelisk force with just without without batting an eye, you know. Even though even though he's not you know, he to be friends with Yuya right away, not only to trust it, it seems that but Yuya's the worst that Yuya and the others, they're trying to get to him, especially when Kurosaki when he almost when he had this duel with Kurosaki almost turned him into car. Sayaka told him not to, especially telling how the story how she well, she was there when Rudy was kidnapped, you know. It seems that it, it started to get to him. Like, for example, when, when Kai saved you, you, you just said, you're going to be, uh, you, you came to say, you came to be, came to work with us, said, go save your comrade. And while, and while he tries to just turn the obelisk force into, into cards, he does it. He hesitates. He even, he even stares down Nomura, who tries to stop him and for a second, saying, wait. And he just stares him down, and he's like scared shitless. Like this guy is like a thinker, not a fighter. Especially when he's, when he's when he looks at his page and saying that five minutes they should have been beaten in five minutes. Why aren't they? But things get a little more hectic as Edo, aka Aster Phoenix, shows up with a whole bunch of Academy of troops right now, um, saying he saying, saying I'm going to be the one to bury Harry Sasaki Yusho's son. You know, like like it's obviously that he hates Yusho's father, like. Thinking that his way of dueling is wrong, but we all know the truth. Like, like the it looks like it, it's obvious that Yuya and you, you know, and Aster had some kind of confrontation. It looks like we're gonna get to see some of that in the next episode. You know. Anyway, this episode was overall a oh, I loved it because because seeing how Yuya and Kurosaki work together again, you know, it's pretty interesting. Thing knowing that Edo Edo is gonna duel Yuya 
uh, one more time. I'm, you know, and this time it, it's not going to be, he's not going to like do a dash and run. He's going to use a dual anchor. You guys, uh, uh, he's going to lock his dual this up uh, to Yuya so they won't escape. And knowing that the Tyler sisters, even though they like Yuya a little bit, they does not want to let this, they don't want to let the defeat go. They want to duel him again to see what what more uh, entertainment they can learn from him. They want to, they want to duel him again to get their revenge. That means this is the last we're going to see of the Tyler sisters. That's a good note. Anyway, overall, I liked it. Hey, thank you. Hey, what did you think of it? Did you like the episode? Did you hate it anyway? Give me your opinion. And hey, give me your opinion. That's all I want to know. Anyway, this is Tyler Manhattan's name and latest review on Yu Gi Oh! Fight episode, episode 109. I'm out. Peace. Bye.